Hey guys, it's been quite a while. Assassin's Creed 3 has been out for a month now, uh, unless you're a PC gamer, in which case you've had a couple of weeks. My copy has finally arrived. Uh, this is the, this is it, this is the um, UB Workshop Collector's Edition, as you can see. Uh, and it comes with a few different uh, special merchandise items which don't come with the Join or Die Limited Edition. So I'll be opening and reviewing stuff in here a bit later. Firstly, uh, I'd like to uh, showcase a few different items you can get from the UB Workshop website. Firstly, I'm wearing the white uh, Desmond Eagle Print T-shirt. Uh, this one comes in three colors, white, gray, and black. Uh, the white version is what he wears in Assassin's Creed 3 Revelations. Uh, this is a small size, as you can see, it's a nice, uh, nice tight fit. Um, the eagle design is very stylish, even if you're not a fan of the series, it's still a nice fashionable t-shirt to wear, so it's really nice. Uh, the black version looks like this, um, as you can see, reverse, black background, white eagle, and it goes really well with this. This is the official Desmond hoodie, I've done a review before in a previous video in case you've missed it. But I will do another video comparing this hoodie with the recently released Connor Assassin's Creed 3 Beaked Hoodie. Okay, so they'll be coming in an in a upcoming video, so do stay tuned. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to uh, show you a few other things you can buy apart from these hoodies. Alright, first up we have the Avaline Assassin Belt. Uh, it's a soft, thin leather belt, comes in black or brown, and the main feature is the assassin buckle at the front. Uh, to put it on, uh, it actually comes with a loose end, so you put the uh, end of the belt through the assassin buckle and it comes around and you can hook it onto your, your belt holes over here. Okay, so it's a nice nice design of wonderful work, it's uh, been the obvious side, but it is a pretty nice uh, concept and um, if, if not wearing it casually, I imagine it would be quite useful for you know, even some casual cosplay. This is what the belt looks like when you actually put it on. Um, it's a bit more stylish than practical, but it is probably the most assassin-like thing you can buy. Looks fairly nice. Uh, as you can see, nice shiny buckle. And the pattern of the, the buttons looks, uh, looks fairly good. Uh, something else that I bought quite a while ago and I've been using a lot since is this messenger bag. Back when I bought this, this was the only version out. It's the beige uh, Ottoman assassin version with the stylized logo. Uh, there are a couple of black messenger bags out at the moment, which are slightly different design. Uh, the more practical with carrying space and storage spaces and buckles. But this one, it's a fairly nice uh, design. It's light. Um, it's uh, a, a bit more casual and comfortable to wear, so it's less of a work or study thing and more of a you know, fashionable assassin thing. Just go with that. Okay, um, a, a few things to examine. Firstly, uh, the buckle. Um, it's just a simple uh, catch, so just release it. And it comes with several compartments. You get the small compartment at the front, but you can put in like a mini tablet or um, a Kindle, or a couple of you know, smaller uh, novels or books. And it comes with several uh, compartments inside. So it has one, uh, two, and three compartments all up. So that's what it, <laughs> it kind of looks like inside. That, that's horrible, there we go, that's better. Um, so it comes with several compartments. And uh, you can fit a few things. Uh, I've done like grocery shopping and bought soft drinks. Uh, I've squeezed in a few textbooks. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna show you uh, a fully filled uh, messenger bag. So uh, just give me a sec. So here I stuffed my messenger bag with some random items. Um, I've put in uh, there. Go, sorry, I've put in a, a tablet uh, in the front pouch. I've got a few uh, textbooks, um, some more textbooks, uh, and I've squeezed in an Assassin's Creed novel as well. Um, Unfortunately, uh, the bag isn't very sturdy. Um, uh, if you're looking at using a bag for everyday use, for carrying a laptop 
or carrying textbooks for classes. Um, I'd, I'd say you can fit and carry them, but it's not really good at doing so. Uh, you can probably find sturdier bags. In fact, I think the, the later black versions are made from sturdy materials. Um, so it's, it's good for light casual use, but for everyday use it may uh, tax you. And the big reason why is because the carrying strap is a bit on the thin side, so it doesn't do too much to support the weight of your bag, which it looks like this when you're wearing on uh, on your body. So let me let me change the camera. There we go. So that's what it looks like. Hey, that's a pretty nice set there. So uh, it looks nice, especially when you have stuff in it. Um, this is a pretty light load, so it makes you be carrying a full load of books or laptops or other materials. It will get a bit. Uh, stressful on your shoulders so be careful of that um, one thing I would say it does have a nice uh, bandolier effect across the shoulder so it, I reckon it goes pretty well with the t-shirt as well as the um, the kind of hoodie so uh, I might do a bit of a cosplay shoot later just to showcase uh, a combination of different um, Assassin's Creed uh, attire so this is uh, again this is the messenger bag it's a, it's a pretty good purchase it's more for collectors rather than for uh, decent use, but you may get a good march out of it, uh, depending on how much you uh, carry with you. That said, the big part of this video is unboxing the Assassin's Creed 3 UB Workshop Collector's Edition. Uh, so I'm going to open this up right now and we'll have a look at what's inside. Well, this is a pretty nice start. <laughs> nice uh, packaging. Uh, I should say that um, back when it was on pre order, the uh, Delivery was free in, in worldwide, which is pretty awesome. Um, up Stoke Industries, there's some miles, uh, some data dump uh, strings, and uh, okay, let's let's have a look. Pretty interesting packaging. I love how the uh, they've done this. And uh, all right, it comes with. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So, firstly, of course. The game itself. Now, I think this is uh, this should work for me. I'd be pretty upset if it wasn't. <laughs> and uh, it's in French, so oh no, there you go. It's the the, the multi international language thing, jiggy. So uh, I think this is the standard version of the game. Um, so <laughs> I've been waiting for this for quite a few years. Um, comes with. Um, the Assassin's Creed Subject 4 series of graphic novels. Um, you might be familiar with Assassin's Creed The Fall and Assassin's Creed The Chain, which is the recent sequel to the graphic novel. So it goes through the story of... <laughs> um, I blanked out here. Daniel Cross. Man, I should really have a look at the blurb. So, um, I actually put off on buying the graphic novel quite a while ago, and I'm really glad because this comes as a complete anthology. Um, really nice artwork that I've got in person. Um, in case you don't know the story, it follows the, um, the, uh, the story of Subject 4, who is Daniel Cross. And uh, he lives through visions of his ancestor, the assassin Orlov, who was alive during the, um, the Russian Revolution. And uh, and as well as paralleling the uh, the current timeline, so it's pretty awesome. Uh, so I look forward to bringing through this, and I like the uh, the complete anthology. So nice bonus there. Uh, it comes with this, and I have no idea what it is. So I'm going to open it, and aha, uh -huh, it's uh, promotional artwork and stuff. So um, yeah. Uh, Connor, another Assassin's Creed 3 concept art. Uh, ooh, Ezio, here we go, old school. And uh, Altai, actually this is pretty awesome. Okay, so we've got the, the Desmond uh, concept page. We've got the Altai, Ezio, Connor, and um, a bunch of, bunch of random stuff here. So that is pretty awesome. Uh, weapons. Um, classic poses. Wow, that is pretty sweet. So I didn't, I didn't notice this coming in this package. So nice bonus there. Thank you, UB Workshop. And the big one is this. This 
It's the Assassin's Creed Encyclopedia version 2. Okay, now I'm going to pause for a moment. I'm going to try and find my first version. Whew, here it is. This is the first edition of the Assassin's Creed Encyclopedia. This is the second edition. So, the second edition updates the first one with uh, the stuff from Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, now the first edition also comes in French, uh, and I don't think the second version is in French yet. I don't speak French, it doesn't apply to me, but for our Francophile friends, uh, that may be worth noting. Uh, you can see the cover is a bit of a uh, collage of different Assassin's Creed characters and uh, screenshots, which is pretty cool. But the first thing you might notice if you already own the first version is the size. That is a huge difference. That's two. That's one, okay? Look the other side. That is a lot of content difference. Um, in case you're not familiar with what the Encyclopedia does, it's a collection of, oh, whoops, it's a collection of um, information and data from all the games. So, because the games are based on alternate history, um, it does provide a lot of detailed historical information or alternate historical information of the series from its conception. So you're looking at Altair's timeline, uh, looking at the Hidden Blade, the Way of the Assassins, um, and most of this is found within the original encyclopedia. Uh, you see artwork and uh, stuff, and um, th there are new things, like uh, I haven't seen this yet, this is from Revelations, um, and here we go, the American Revolution, this is the new stuff. So starting from Connor's timeline and look at the background. I haven't played this yet, so I don't want to look at it yet. No spoilers from me. Um, but that's the collector's version. This is the game we're going to store and play right about now. So hope you enjoyed this preview, guys. And I will uh, put up the hoodie video very shortly. I'll see you then.